Welcome to Me and My Golf TV. I'm Piers Ward. You've joined us here on the 18th Greenside Bunker at the Asprey. It's a fantastic, beautiful day. Andy, we're in a bunker. That means it must be go low. What have we got? It is go low, and we've not got the ordinary bunker shot. We're going to show you how to play the plug lie. So if you want to know, stay tuned. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so it's time for Go Low. This is where we answer questions on your game to help you go low. Yes, and if you want to get involved, make sure you go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and post your questions on this week's topic. Hopefully so, we're going to help your game this year. Yeah, I hope so, I hope so. Right, okay, before we start talking about, obviously, bunkers, uh, it's the US Open this week, Andy. It's Chambers so Bay. So tomorrow it starts, Chambers Bay, totally designed golf course, especially for the US Open. Yes, that was the Leeds remit. Golf course. Very different, isn't it, to what we would see in the US Open. So. Who's going to win? North post your comments. Northwest post your comments. Where? Northwest East. Northwest East. Yeah. Um, post your comments down below. Who do you think is going to win? Andy, who's going to win? Oh, God, they put me on the spot there. I'm not really sure. I haven't even sure. thought myself. I I'll ask say, you first, so I don't have to answer. Um, that's a tough one, I think, Piers, that one is. <laughs> I've got mine. You've got yours. I'm going to go DJ. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> okay. Oh, I will go then Justin Rose. Okay, well, I was going to say DJ. DJ okay. I'll go Justin Rose. I'll go Justin, okay. Justin Rose. Just because he came, uh, lost in the playoff just recently, didn't in the Memorial. He so it, he, he does well. You know what? The US Open as well. He's, he's, he's going to be all right. And it's Father's Day as well, obviously, on the day. Sunday. So if you haven't got your father a present already, then maybe we can help you with that. So yes. we've got 20% off uh, Father's Day special at meandmygolf.com. So go and have a look at that and get them the best Father's Day present yeah, they could ever have. One membership, annual membership, whole year for the yeah, for 20% off. For the price of 20% off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't quite work that out. Right, okay, so today we are talking about bunkers. So that was the uh, that was the topic. And James Evans has asked, how are we going to get out of a plugged lie? So I've suitably trod on that golf ball. Andy, you're in a plug lie. Plug what lie. sort of things do we need? Is it the same as a normal shot? It's completely different to a normal shot. Okay. Obviously, the ball is sitting down. We've got a tricky lie here. Tough situation. Fortunately, I've got a bit of green to work with. So yeah. that's, that, that's going to help us in this situation here. Yeah. Now, with a normal bunker shot, we normally talk about opening the face and using the bounce to slide underneath, positioning the body, opening the body and stance. But because of the sand here now, because of the ball being there, we need to actually get to the bottom of the ball and almost dig it out, Piers. Yeah. So we're going to change our setup quite a bit and we do actually change the golf swing a little bit as well. So okay. first thing is, as opposed to standing open and opening the face, we're actually going to take a square club face. So I'm going to put my club face straight at the target. Feet position, they can be a little bit open if, if you want with the hips, but you know, pretty square on is not, not a problem. Now the first thing we're going to do here now is we're going to move the ball back in the stance because the, the key thing about this piece is creating a steep angle into the back of the okay. ball. So, Moving the ball position back. So further back than normal, but pretty much central, or just, just back of centre? Yeah, sort of back of centre. Yeah, just back of centre. experiment with yourself, really. Okay. But we're going to lean a little bit of weight on the front leg as well. This is all going to sort of add to the steepness in the swing. Yep. Now, the main thing we're going to do in the, in the golf swing, Piers, similar, similar to the, the cock and pop we do in the rough, we're going to have an early wrist set. This is going to create that steep angle of attack on the golf ball. And from here, then, we're going to accelerate with quite a lot of power down, hitting the sand before the ball as usual. But you're going to find that the the club is almost going to sort of come to an abrupt stop at the ball because of we're hitting so much down on the golf. So you've got to be ready for that almost and be aware that first time you have a go with this technique that when you hit that sand, it's going to stop it's quickly, isn't kill, it, club? It's going to kill the speed. And most yeah. people, when they do this, they don't have enough energy. They don't hit it hard enough because it really does slow the club down. And the ball's going to come out. It's going to roll quite a lot. And like I say, here I've got a situation where I've got plenty of green to work with, so I've yeah. got a good chance of actually getting it close. And the one thing we will say, if you haven't got a lot of green to work with, well, uh, you know, you're just going to have to maybe knock it out to 20 feet and hopefully not yeah. the 20-foot ring, because the most important thing is, in this situation, is getting out. And as Andy said, because there is a lot more sand behind the golf ball, if people say do it the same as their normal bunker shot, they haven't got enough energy to get that golf ball flying out. And that's obviously why we, we close the face in a little bit. Definitely. One thing we would say, perhaps for the... I wouldn't say the more experienced golfer, I'd say the more powerful golfer. So if you feel that you've got plenty of power in these shots, you can open the club face just a little bit. So you wouldn't lay it back, obviously, but you can open the face a little bit. And I think, Andy, when you play yours, you'll be ever so slightly open yeah, with the club face. Yeah, just slightly open, as opposed to with a normal bunker shot, I'm going to have that way open sitting, yeah. sitting on the back almost there. Okay. All right. Well, I think you've explained that pretty good. Okay, so right. everything's going to be talking about, uh, so everything's going to be designed now to hit down and hard. steeper. And see if I can get this rolling towards there. So ball back, lean left, early wrist set, and hit down hard on the back of that, that sand. It came out low. It's running. 
it is about six feet. And I'll be pretty happy with that, six foot away from there. You know, again, not the, the hardest of situations, but when you're in this light, it's always a tricky situation. So if you can get it close, then you've obviously produced the I think off camera, he's going to say he was really happy with that, actually. Oh, yeah, pretty happy with that. <laughs> Good shot. There you go, James. That's how we get out of that plugged light. Give us the thumbs up, hit the like button if, you, uh, if this helps you. Post your comments down below. And guys, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It allows you to keep updated with our videos when they're coming to you. And also, you can interact with us as well. Yes, definitely. So also, again, guys, make sure you check out meandmygolf.com. Click the link in the corner here. And remember, you can get that 20% off your uh, annual membership there. So it only lasts until Father's Day. Father's so, Day, uh, Father's Day. It's a great Day. idea for your for your dad. And thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.